Gorman was born in Portland, Oregon on September 9, 2022. His parents, Desiree Young and Kane Horman, had divorced eight months before he was born. The exes had shared custody until Chiron's mother experienced a medical emergency giving Chiron's dad full custody. However, his mom was still a big part of his upbringing. Around 2001, Chiron's father, Kane, became romantically involved with a woman named Terry Moulton in the midst of his divorce to Chiron's mom, Desiree. He eventually married Terry and the couple had a daughter in 2008. On June 4th, 2010, Seven-year-old Chiron Horman was taken to Skyline Elementary School by his stepmother, Terry. Terry claimed that she stayed with him a bit while he attended a science book fair. Of course, Chiron was excited about the book fair because he wanted to be a detective when he grew up, like his stepdad. Terry left the school around 8.45 a.m. After seeing Chiron walking down the hall to his first class, she then posted this photo of Chiron to her Facebook, which was the last known photo he had taken. Terry then began her errands, which was going to the grocery store, driving her daughter around town to soothe an earache, and work out at a gym around 12.40 p.m. At 3.30 p.m., Terry, Chiron's dad and little sister, walked to meet Chiron at a bus stop. To their horror, the bus driver told them that Chiron never boarded the bus that day and to call the school to see what happened. Terry called the school and they panicked when the school secretary told them that Chiron had been marked absent that day. For all they knew, Chiron never showed up for school that day. Realizing what has happened, the school secretary immediately called the police. A massive search was held to find Chiron. It was the biggest search Oregon had ever experienced. There was a $25,000 reward for anyone who had seen Chiron. The reward was eventually boosted up to $50,000, but no one had seen him. Here's where the strange things began to happen. In late June 2010, the same month that Chiron had vanished, Chiron's dad was told by investigators that their landscaper, Rodolfo Sanchez, claimed that Terry had offered him a lot of money if he were to own a life for husband in January 2010, five months before Chiron's disappearance. Sanchez testified in a deposition and they even tried to get him to wear a wire, but they did not have enough evidence on Terry. Chiron's father, Kane, filed for divorce a couple weeks after Chiron's disappearance and placed a restraining order against Terry. What's more puzzling? Terry failed two separate polygraph tests regarding Chiron's disappearance. In August 2010, law enforcement was searching for an individual who was seen by two eyewitnesses. The witnesses claimed that the person was seen sitting inside Terry's truck outside of Skyline Elementary School. Looking for answers, a grand jury subpoenaed Terry's friend, Diddy Spitcher. Chiron's parents claimed that Didi was giving Terry advice that was not in the best interest of their son Chiron. Didi was cooperative with investigators and even let them search her car. However, it was alleged that Didi helped Terry get an untraceable cell phone and disappeared for 90 minutes while she worked at her gardening job. Despite this, Didi passed a polygraph with flying colors and was eventually unofficially cleared in Chiron's disappearance. She agreed to an immunity deal with prosecutors. Chiron's mother, Desiree, filed a civil lawsuit against Terry, claiming she was responsible for the kidnapping of her son. She sought $10 million in damages. I believe that Terry Horman knows where Chiron is. I believe that Terry Horman is responsible for where my son is. A very emotional Desiree Young breaks down as she talks about the past two years without her son, Chiron. And she accuses his stepmother in his... Desiree also caused Spitcher's credibility into question during the deposition when she refused to answer 142 questions about Chiron's disappearance. On July 30th, 2013, Chiron's mom dropped the lawsuit because she did not want to interfere with the police investigation. Jenny, today Desiree Young announced that because of public disclosure laws and because she does not want to jeopardize the criminal investigation, she is withdrawing her civil suit against Terry Horman. Now that suit was filed uh, last year, on uh, last summer, against Terry Horman, Kyron's stepmom. It accuses Terry Horman of kidnapping Kyron and asking the court to force her to return him or tell where he is. Kyron. And every day that you are not here, Safe in my arms is another day of agonizing torture. According to Chiron's father, the police stated that they had more probable cause to think that Terry was involved in Chiron's disappearance. In 2016, 
Terry appeared on the Dr. Phil show and maintained her innocence. She denied having anything to do with Conrad's disappearance and she also stated she was told not to speak about the case. She claimed that there was a suspicious white Ford pickup truck at a 7-Eleven which wasn't close to the school. She claimed that there was a man acting suspiciously and he was confronted by one of the employees. I said to Terry, you went to the science fair. How is he missing? She said to me, almost like she had a piece of paper there that she was reading. I dropped him off at the school at 8.15. I didn't see him to his classroom. I almost walked him all the way there, but I didn't see him go into his classroom. And I'm going, whoa, 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 whoa. Then I started going over the conversation with Terry again in my head. I looked over at Tony and I said, if she hurt Kyron, you're gonna have to hold me back because I am gonna wanna hurt her. What do you think happened to Kyron? I think that somebody came in the school and took him. Uh, one of the exonerating things that people don't, our public's not made aware of, is the day before on June 3rd, when I was completely someplace else at the doctors and at the gym, uh, there was a man in a white pickup truck, uh, Ford, and it was parked at 7-Eleven on Highway 30, which is near the school. A year later, Kyron's mother began to have hope when Terry's criminal past began to come to light. Allegedly, Terry was involved in a murder for hire plot against her ex-boyfriend in 1990. Her ex-boyfriend, Sean Ray, alleges that he and Terry were at a picnic when two men jumped out of the bushes and attacked him. He claimed Terry shouted, they're here for you, but he was able to get away. Her ex never reported the incident to the police. When police began to look into the disappearance of Chiron, they sought Ray out for information. It was then that Ray revealed the murder for hire plot against him. The case was never made public, but records indicated that police knew about the murder for hire allegation since 2011. Allegedly, a prisoner confessed to the plot decades ago. Ray claimed the prisoner had specific details that match up with his account of what happened. Later in 2017, Terry was arrested for driving a stolen vehicle where she quickly bonded out. She was also arrested on other unrelated charges, such as domestic violence and grand theft of a firearm. For Chiron's mom, these newly emerging details gives her hope. She states her criminal activities confirm what she already knew that Terry had something to do with Chiron's disappearance. As of 2017, a secret grand jury was hearing new probable cause evidence against Terry. In 2018, Desiree Young posted to Facebook to stay tuned, something big is coming. I promise you, Terry isn't going to get away with staying silent about where Chiron is and not have to answer for it. Records show that Terry remarried in 2018 in Nevada. On June 4, 2022, on his 12 year anniversary of disappearance, an age progression photo was released. The case still remains open, and as of March 23, 2023, Kyron's mother has been working diligently with the new sheriff to find details about Kyron's disappearance. Kyron's father, Kane, has organized a Kyron's car show every year that helps families find their missing children. According to Kyron's parents, the case is still active and open.